What's good, everybody? How's it going? It's your boy, IC Josh, back with another video. And I will say this right now, if you ever uh, have any sort of issues with notifications coming out to your phone, wherever that you get your notifications to watch YouTube videos and stuff like that. If you ever find a problem where you're not seeing content and stuff like that, ever pops out, just uh, check the actual page again, because I usually update that trailer uh, for returning and also new subscribers with the latest video every day. So if there's a situation where then there's like no content that comes out, then you won't see that one. But I do 100% always replace that trailer. So we, this trailer will be on the, uh, well, this video will be on the trailer and stuff like that for the latest video. But I did have a couple more that came out before then today. So let me know also in the comment section below if you guys are enjoying having the videos come out just about every day. I am taking like two days out of the week if there's like nothing going on that day then i'll take that day off and stuff like that for my own sanity not to burn out on making content and stuff like that at least too much content but um if you're new to the channel you like what you see subscribe turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live put up more video you boys always here so let's get into this one so again shout out minato flash uh on twitter and i think also youtube as well too content creator uh with the translations for the easy a of bardock i'm hoping bardock is actually really good because this guy like he was good when he first came out and then he just like was gone like and i mean gone like real quick like he fell off so hopefully with the easy ace especially in the meta that they've been going here recently i'm going to assume he's going to be really really good so let's hope so because again like i said if he's really really good then that means like every other unit coming out with easy ace especially with them double easy ace whoo whoo so Leader skill is still revenge or low class warrior uh, category for key 170. Remember when I was talking about the monos and I, I'm, I feel like I'm the mono guy, but like whenever I, when I was talk, actually talking about the monos and I said, if they ever went to like four key 170 with their double easy A's and stuff like that. Ooh, ooh, oh, ish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ish. It will be for real right now. But right now I'm not mad at that four key That's eight. If you decide to run him uh, 170, like I said, with every unit that comes out, to be fair, like, let me know. I, I want to know with you guys, like, do you need a full one, uh, 200 percent leader skill or could you still suffice with the 170, especially with all the units that are coming out currently right now and how absolutely broken they are? Like, could you suffice with a unit of, like being in 170 and not getting the full 200 or not? Let me know in the comment section below, because like at this point, I don't necessarily really care because if they're getting four key as well too and they're getting more key along with it and they're just losing 30 percent but they're doing so much and then you have all the like supports and stuff like that and even items that you can use to make up for it like it don't really bother me all that much so let me know in the comment section below but passive skill uh key plus two and attack and defense under 50 percent and then another attack 50 percent when attacking plus an additional attack 20 percent up to 100 nice and reduce damage received by 10% up to 50% per low class warrior category ally on the team. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he okay. He's 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 good. He's cooking on a pure saying low class pure saying. Oh yeah, he he cooking. He he's 100% cooking. That's that's slot 1 right there. That that 50% ain't never going away. Yeah, that's that's a slot 1. I like that right there. I like that a lot. Uh, attack 50% and attacks effective against all types when there is a wicked bloodline category ally, uh, excuse me, enemy, like, like he, he's going to, like, we hope, I hope that we do see a Frieza, a legendary fighting Frieza. Oh my God. I hope because he slay him. Absolutely. F fillet him to be fair. Uh, performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack when there is another low class warrior. Again, like I said, attacking in the same turn, like. He's he's cooking on that on that category. He's cooking on that team. Like at right now, even in his base, he's he's a must-have just for the damage reduction alone and also the damage he's gonna be doing and the possible like what two super attacks that you're gonna get, one with the hidden potential system, and then also in the passive. Like, yeah, he's he's gonna be on that team for sure. 100 percent And if even if he and since he's AGL or two, we know how broken AGL is, especially under a mono, with also paying on rotation floating. Come on, man. Come on. He's he's cooking, and that's just his uh, base. So let's see what the Super Saiyan, because I've always liked this Bardock. Bardock's my second favorite character of all time. I'm, I'm just going to say that again for the ones that don't know. He literally is my second favorite Dragon Ball Z character of all time. So it's like, I love when we get Bardock cards, and they actually shine real good. I love that stuff. So let's see what Super Saiyan Bardock is cooking. So the 12 key uh, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. That's good because with the new uh, events and stuff like that, where you're able to like at least lower attack and defense on some of them, not 
both of them all the time, but you can do that at times. Like that's that's pretty solid uh, there, especially raising attack and defense with additionals built in and stuff. I love that. Key plus three and then attack and defense on Eddie. So he gets 130 right off the bat. So excuse me, an extra 30% right off the bat. Uh, and another key that's not that's not bad at all. I mean, he's literally super attacking like crazy. Let's be real. Uh, he ain't got no 18 key super attack. Like this man's getting a super attack usually all the time, especially with factoring in links like all the time he's getting a super attack. And especially at a slot one, while you're raising attack and defense, you just hope that all the attacks that are in that like slot one, but the second part after you've attacked, oh yeah, yeah. Attacks effective against all types, reduced damage received by 18%. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Uh, attack 100% when attacking, a medium chance of performing a crit hit or evading enemies attacks, including super attacks. So the trade-off, I don't know. I think I would prefer having the actual damage reduction still at like 50%. Hell, if, even if they like just gave it to 25% or at least 30%, that would have been so much better for this unit. Uh, and been like, oh yeah, he's only losing the 20% after it's already built. Uh, well, not built up, but just having him on rotation. Like I would have been all right with it, but it, it is what it is. Let's see what, let's see what we have down here. So um, key plus three and a chance to perform a crit hit and evade enemies attacks, including super attacks plus 18% reduced de reduce damage received by 18% for five turns from the start of turn. Okay, so I like to say, they're still giving him that actual uh, 18. So that's what 36 that he's getting 30% of damage reduction for five turns like at this point but by the time you get them and stuff like that we'll see how it goes because like i said the longer the event goes off then obviously he gets worse for tanking and stuff like that and again like i said if you use an item or whatever like that then you're going to be covered and it doesn't really matter because you're already getting 36 percent then the 18 percent on top of like even if it is like a 40 percent weiss and stuff like that's still golden but that's still a little that's still a little tough especially if you're not like trying to use items or anything like that that's still a little tough that he's going to lose that after five uh, turns, but launches an additional super attack that and all attacks become crit hits when there's a wicked bloodline category ally. So uh, the way I see him is I, I see him as pretty solid. Uh, super Saiyan wise, I feel like they did low key still uh, sort of nerf him a little bit just because of that, that damage reduction, man. Like if you would have, if you would have got just 36% or even just the, the um, say 25 percent with the 18 on top of it uh for the five turns that would just that still would have been a whole lot better for him but it probably would have moved him out of the first slot maybe in like a sl second slot sort of situation or something but it, it i still think he's solid i'm not i'm not even gonna cap i don't think he's like busted but he's he is pretty solid i think they sort of went uh very tame with this one uh, but I said that could be for the situation they got other plans for him later on down the line for another like Bardock or something like another Super Saiyan Bardock card later on. They don't want to make this one too broken. So I could sort of see that. But let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about this unit. Like I said, I do think it's pretty solid, but it is what it is. Other than that, have an awesome day. Sash night, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah.